This week on Granite State Challenge, the team from Conval Regional High School takes on the team from Portsmouth High School. Only one team will advance. Granite State Challenge starts now. Major funding for the production of Granite State Challenge is provided by Unitil. Additional funding provided by NEA New Hampshire, Safety Insurance, New Hampshire Lottery, D.F. Richard Energy, HRCU, Cognia, and viewers like you. Thank you. Get ready. It's time for New Hampshire high schools to match wits in a high-stakes scholastic showdown. It's time for Granite State Challenge. Here's your host, John Cannon. Hello, everyone, and welcome. Thank you for joining us for another exciting week of Granite State Challenge. We're halfway through the quarterfinal round of our 40th season. We've got two teams here with us this week that punched their tickets last round. They're going to do battle to see who takes it to the semifinal round. Let's introduce them to you. First up is the team from Conval Regional High School, and they are led by senior captain Mira. Mira is joined by seniors Leah, Kendall, and Sam. Their alternates are also seniors. They are Elijah and Gwyneth. And the team is coached by Chris Hyder and Eric Bowman. And facing off against them is the team from Portsmouth High School. They are led by senior captain Francis. Francis is joined by senior Rio, senior Josie, and junior Nick. Their alternate is senior Karina, and their team is coached by Hannah Duell. Those are our teams, but I would also love to introduce our judge, as always, Ann Belanger. All right, teams, introductions are out of the way. Go ahead and grab those signaling devices. We're going to play the game. And as you know, we play Granite State Challenge in four rounds. And in round one, we do 10-point toss-up questions. So, Conval, Portsmouth, good luck, and here we go. The Boston Marathon stretches from Hopkinton, Massachusetts, to the back bay of Boston. How many miles do runners run in the Boston Marathon? Kendall of Conval? 26.2. Correct. This 1946 musical about sharpshooter Annie Oakley with music and lyrics by Irving Berlin featured the competitive song, Anything You Can Do, I Can Do Better. Josie of Portsmouth. Annie, get your gun. Correct. This 1995 movie was the first feature length computer animated film. Rio of Portsmouth. Toy Story. That's the one. Teams, what is the only number without a Roman numeral? Francis of Portsmouth? Zero. That's the one. Who succeeded Abraham Lincoln as president after his assassination? Leah of Conval. Grant? Sorry, no. Francis of Portsmouth? Andrew Johnson. He's the one. This baseball player was known as the Sultan of Swat and the Bambino. He began his career as a pitcher for the Boston Red Sox. Mira of Conval. Babe Ruth. Correct. This twisted dough treat has been the symbol of German bakers since the 12th century. Francis of Portsmouth. Pretzel. That's it. Insect bodies are separated into three sections, the head, the abdomen, and this middle section where you will find the legs. Mira of Conval. The thorax. Correct. Teams, how many planets in our solar system are smaller than Earth? Nick of Portsmouth? Two. Sorry, nope. Conval? Mira? Three. Three. Mars, Mercury, and Venus. In what city will you find the Brandenburg Gate? Sam of Conval. Berlin. That's the one. Who wrote and illustrated the 1987 children's picture book, A House for Hermit Crab, about a hermit crab looking for a home? Francis of Portsmouth? Carl. Eric Carl is correct. Montpelier, the name of the capital city of this state, is taken from a city in France. Josie of Portsmouth. Vermont. Correct. This landlocked country in the Horn of Africa was once known as Abyssinia. Sam of Conval. Ethiopia. Yes. In 1981, Kim Carnes had a hit song about the eyes of this Hollywood icon and Lowell, Massachusetts native, 
known for the films Jezebel, Dark Victory, and All About Eve. Mira of Conval. Betty Davis. Yes. In 1967, Catherine Switzer was the first woman to complete this race as an officially registered competitor. At multiple points during the race, race manager Jock Semple tried to rip her race number off her shirt. Kendall of Conval. Boston Marathon. Yes. In 1998, the Supreme Court found that most of this iconic island, long thought to be part of New York, was mostly in New Jersey. Mira of Conval. Ellis Island. That's right. This actor won three Best Actress Oscars, the first in 1934 for her role in Morning Glory and the last for her role in the 1981 film On Golden Pond. Mira of Conval. Catherine Hepburn. Correct. If you are in Scotland celebrating Hogmanay, what are you celebrating? Francis of Portsmouth. Halloween. Sorry, no. Mira of Conval? Easter. Nope, you are celebrating New Year's or New Year's Eve. All right, teams, you have more than 300 million of these tiny air sacs in your lungs. Francis of Portsmouth. Sorry, out of time, Conval. Sam? Um, alveoli? Correct. This pioneering rock and roller and his comets invited people to rock around the clock and shake, rattle, and roll in the early 1950s. Sorry, Rio, it was Bill Haley and the Comets. Lazy Sunday was a 2005 Saturday Night Live digital short that featured Andy Samberg and Chris Parnell on their way to see the film version of the first installment of this series of novels by C.S. Lewis. Francis of Portsmouth. Chronicles of Narnia. Correct. All right, the next uh, question is the picture question, so go ahead and take a look at your monitors. You are looking at the 1902 painting, A Reconnaissance, by this painter and sculptor known for his depictions of the American Old West. Leah of Conval. Cole. Sorry, no. All right, it is Frederick Remington was the correct response. Teens, which manned Apollo mission was the first to land on the moon? Francis of Portsmouth. 11. Yes. Apollo 11. Correct. Uh, you have paper and pencil there in case you need it, teams. The number of letters in this single digit number is the same as the number. Francis of Portsmouth. Four. Correct. This American playwright wrote The Glass Menagerie, The Night of the Iguana, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, and A Streetcar Named Desire. Josie of Portsmouth. Tennessee Williams. Correct. Teams, in what South American country will you find the port city of Valparaiso? Francis of Portsmouth. Chile. That is right. In what city would you have found the largest library in the ancient world, said to be home to as many as 400,000 papyrus scrolls? Leah of Conval. Alexandria. Yes. In this 1946 movie, when the character Zuzu hears a bell ring, she tells her father, George Bailey, that every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. Nick of Portsmouth. It's a Wonderful Life. Yes. Macropods get their name from their large hind legs and are known for hopping. On what continent will you find macropods? Kendall of Conval. Australia. That's right. This retired United States Supreme Court Justice served as the Attorney General of New Hampshire from 1976 to 1978. Francis of Portsmouth. Kennedy. Sorry, no. Conval? Sorry, Mira, not quite in time. It was David Souter is who we were looking for. This painter and illustrator's works were featured on the cover of the Saturday Evening Post for over five decades. Works on the cover included a 1943 depiction of Rosie the Riveter and a 1957 cover, The Rookie, featuring the Red Sox locker room. 
Those were painted by Norman Rockwell. And that sound ends round one after round one. Look at this. A tight, tight, tied match between Conval and Portsmouth. All right, teams, that's just how we like it. We're going to roll right into round two. And in round two, we're going to continue with the toss-up questions. We're going to double the point value. So these are 20-point toss-up questions. Conval and Portsmouth, good luck. Let's go. If a football team dumps 10 gallons of Gatorade on their coach, how many cups would that be? Leah of Conval. 160. Correct. All right, teams, the next question is our Unitil power question. It is worth double the points, so this is a 40-point toss-up question coming to you on your monitors. Take a look. This 2008 Disney film features a TV star dog voiced by John Travolta, who believes he has the superpowers he has on the screen. Kendall of Conval. Bolt. Bolt is right. In golf, what is being two strokes under par on a hole called? Francis of Portsmouth. Eagle. Yes. This science fiction author is perhaps best known for his 1965 novel, Dune. It was by Frank Herbert. This is the second largest island in French Polynesia and a favorite location for the painter Paul Gauguin. Francis of Portsmouth. Tahiti. Yes. The four treaties that deal with the treatment of adversaries during war are named for this Swiss city. Josie of Portsmouth. Geneva. Correct. Teams, in what organ will you find the inferior vena cava? Francis of Portsmouth. The heart. That's right. At 145,556 square miles, this is the fourth largest state in the U.S. and home to Glacier National Park. Francis of Portsmouth. Montana. Correct. All right, teens, we have reached the 40 for 40 question to celebrate our 40th season. And this question is worth 40 points. Comes to you from season 31. This theater was a key venue in the Harlem Renaissance and is famous for its amateur nights and helped launch the careers of Jimi Hendrix, James Brown, the Jackson 5, Stevie Wonder, and Mariah Carey. Francis of Portsmouth. The Apollo. Correct. This change in wind speed and or direction over a short distance can be vertical or horizontal and can have a devastating impact on wind on aircraft. Francis of Portsmouth. Turbulence. Sorry, no. It is wind shear. Wind shear. All right, teams, Puck, or Robin Goodfellow, a mischievous fairy found in Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream, is a character found in English folklore. Spell mischievous. Mira of Conval. M-I-S-C-H-I-E-V-O-U-S. Well done. In 1865, this real person became the first non-mythical woman to appear on U.S. currency. Before that, all the women on currency were allegorical people. This woman was a member of the Powhatan people and later the subject of a Disney movie. Sam of Conval. Pocahontas. Correct. Teams in what 17, uh, sorry, yeah, 1726 novel by Jonathan Swift will you find the fictional island nation of Lilliput? Francis of Portsmouth. Gulliver's Travels. Yes. Kirk Douglas portrayed this Dutch post-impressionist artist in the 1954 film Lust for Life. Francis of Portsmouth. Van Gogh. That's correct. English primatologist Jane Goodall has spent her adult life studying the social and family interactions of this primate. Sam of Conval. Chimpanzee. Yes. You'll find the Elgin marbles displayed in the British Museum. They were taken by agents of the 7th Earl of Elgin between 1801 and 1812 from this country. Francis of Portsmouth? The Netherlands? Sorry, nope. Sam of Conval? India? No, they were taken from Greece. In the film Dead Poet Society, the students step up on their desks as their teacher, Mr. Keating, is leaving and say, Oh, Captain, my Captain. What poet wrote the poem, Oh, Captain, my Captain? 
in 1865 about the death of Abraham Lincoln. Mira of Conval. Well, Whitman. That's right. Teams, what shape will you find in the center of a Scrabble board? Francis of Portsmouth. A star. That's right. New York City is made up of five boroughs, the Bronx, Brooklyn, Manhattan, Queens, and this borough that is often reached by ferry. Francis of Portsmouth. Staten Island. Correct. All right, that sound ends round two, and Portsmouth taking a bit of a lead by a score of 350 to 270. All right, teams, we're going to go into round three, and in round three, our three strikes and you're out round. Each team will get 10 questions in a category. We'll give you 10 points for each correct response and a bonus of 10 for getting all of them correct. And we'll go down the line player by player until you get three strikes and you're out or until all the questions have been asked. Uh, and you get three passes per team. Conval, we're going to start with you as the team trailing and Mira as team captain. You get to make the call. These are the categories. The kids are all right, barking up the wrong tree, and on fire. Um, on fire. On fire. The answers to the following will all be related to the word fire. All right. Mira, in this 1953 novel by Ray Bradbury, firemen burn books. Fahrenheit 451. Correct. Leah, Johnny Cash sang this song about temptation written by June Carter Cash and Merle Kilgore. Pass. Ring Kendall? of Fire. Ring of Fire is correct. Sam. The poem, Fire and Ice, published in 1920, was written by this New England poet. I don't know. Is Robert Frost. Mira. Mrs. O'Leary's cow is often blamed for an 1871 fire in this city. Chicago. Correct. Leah. This early rock and roller had a huge hit with the song Great Balls of Fire. Pass. Pitbull. Sorry, oh. Kendall, it is Jerry Lee Lewis. Sam, this singer-songwriter <laughs> claimed that we didn't start the fire in a 1989 song that was a laundry list of 20th century events, people, and fads. Pass. And that was your last pass, Mira? We didn't start the fire. By uh, Billy Joel. Billy Joel <laughs> okay. is what we were looking for. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Leah, in this 2004 movie, The Plastics, keep a burn book of gossip and rumors about their classmates. Mean Girls. Correct. Kendall, the Talking Heads had a hit with this 1982 song about an ordinary guy. I don't know. It is burning down oh, the house. Gosh. And that is your third strike and five correct on your three strikes rounds. All right, nice job, Conval. We turn to Portsmouth and Francis as team captain. You choose from our remaining categories. The kids are all right and barking up the wrong tree. The kids are all right. All right. The answers to the following will all be related to goats or the word goat. The kids are all right, get it? All right, Francis. This quarterback is known as the goat, the greatest of all time. Tom Brady. Correct. Rio, in this Norwegian fairy tale, three goats must pass over a bridge with a troll underneath it to get to a field. Billy Goat's Gruff. Correct. Josie, this astrological sign is a goat. Capricorn. Correct. Nick, this style of facial hair gets its name from a goat's beard. Goatee. Correct. Francis, you might call someone who is blamed for the mistakes of others this. Scapegoat. Correct. Rio, in this 1881 novel by Swiss author Johanna Spiri, a young girl goes to live in the Alps with her grandfather and makes friends with a young goat herd named Peter. Pass. Heidi. Jo Josie. Heidi. Correct. Nick. The children and the nanny in this movie sing the song The Lonely Goat Herd with marionettes. Mary Poppins. Sorry, it is the sound of music. Francis. This species of goat is found in the Rocky Mountains. 
Pass. Rio, same question. Mountain Goat. Correct. Josie, this comedian who grew up in New Hampshire and is known for his songs about a lunchroom lady and Hanukkah, also has a song called The Goat Song. Adam Sandler. Correct. Nick, Grover Underwood is a character in this series of novels by Rick Riordan that is half goat and half human. Percy Jackson. Correct. And that is the last question. Nine out of 10 on your rounds. Very well done. All right, teams, that brings us to round four. And in round four, we're gonna continue with the 20 point toss up questions. However, in this round, we deduct 20 points for incorrect responses. So play smart and strategic. Conval and Portsmouth, here we go. Principal Krupp has been hypnotized to think he is this scantily clad superhero when he hears fingers snapping in this series of books by Dave Pilkey. Rio of Portsmouth. Captain Underpants. That's it. This law that states that the pressure of a given quantity of gas varies inversely with its volume at a constant temperature is either known as Marriott's law for French physicist, ed, physicist Edmé Marriott or this law named for an Irish-born scientist. It's also known as Boyle's law. Teams, who is the captain of the Millennium Falcon in the Star Wars world? Kendall of Conval. Han Solo. That's right. Rescued from a battlefield during World War I by American soldier Lee Duncan, this German Shepherd went on to star in 27 movies. You may have heard of him, Rin Tin Tin. This author created the 100 acre wood home to Pooh, Piglet, and Eeyore. Francis of Portsmouth. A. Milne. Correct. This gemstone is a variety of the mineral beryl and gets its green color from traces of chromium or vanadium. Mira of Conval. Emerald. That's it. Teams, where did Elvis Presley sing about staying at the end of Lonely Street in a 1956 song written by Tommy Durden and May Boren Axton? At the end of Lonely Street, you'll find Heartbreak Hotel. This fictional character created by Beatrix Potter is the brother of Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail. Mira of Conval. Peter Rabbit. Correct. After serving as Chancellor of Germany for 16 years, this woman retired in 2021. Josie of Portsmouth. Angela Merkel. Correct. According to the proverb, what do birds of a feather do? Sam of Conval. Flock together. That's right. Despite its name, this arboreal marsupial native to Australia is not a member of the bear family. Nick of Portsmouth. Koala. Correct. The fourth album by this British rock band was released in 1971 and had no official name. It featured the song Stairway to Heaven. Francis of Portsmouth. Led Zeppelin. Yes. This space probe launched by NASA includes the golden record with the sound of whales, babies, birds, and a message from President Jimmy Carter. They put the golden record on Voyager. Published in 1839, The Voyage of the Beagle chronicled the travels and findings of this naturalist. Leah of Conval. Darwin. Yes. This massacre of close to 300 Lakota people by the United States Army occurred in 1890 in South Dakota when the Army tried to disarm the Lakota. Josie of Portsmouth. Little Bighorn. Uh, sorry, no, Conval. It is Wounded Knee. There are more than 9,000 species of this spore-bearing vascular plant, including bird's nest, leather leaf, boston, and silver. Leah of Conval. Fern. That's right. In the 1945 musical Anchors Away, Gene Kelly danced with this cartoon mouse. Sam of Conval. Mickey Mouse. Sorry, no. Sorry, Kendall can't oh, ring God. in. Portsmouth. It is Jerry from Tom and Jerry. And in Switzerland, we are not going to get to that question. And it looks like in the end, it was Portsmouth pulling away. Moving on to the semi-final round. 
Congratulations, Portsmouth. Congratulations on your win. We'll see you in a couple weeks in the semifinal. And Conval, congratulations on your first round victory. And we hope you had fun today. You played a good game. And we hope you had fun at home as well. We hope you join us next week for our final quarterfinal game. That'll do it for us for here this week. Uh, I learned a lot this week, and I hope you did as well. We'll see you next time. Major funding for the production of Granite State Challenge is provided by Unitil. Additional funding provided by NEA New Hampshire, Safety Insurance, New Hampshire Lottery, D.F. Richard Energy, HRCU, Cognia, and viewers like you. Thank you.